It's 9.24 p.m. And I am... I have had the worst killer headache for hours. I don't even know if I can be heard while I'm plugged into this. Maybe I should find out, huh? <laughs> All right, I unplugged it. It is 9.25 now. I have a killer headache. It's like throbbing back of my head, back of my neck. I just made a <laughs> very much wanted and lovely plate. Oh, God. So a mess right now. Plate of nuggets. Checkers fries. Honey mustard. Ketchup. Totally planned to inhale this. I even have potato salad over there. I have soda on ice. None of it. Not feeling it at all. Today is 11 DPO. Uh, I really had no clue what to expect this cycle. So, had some like very, very light pink tinged spotting. Um, like TP stuff, you know, you go to the bathroom, toilet paper, white, blah. Oh, is that pink? Can't tell. It looks pink. Just in the sand. I was like 1.30 this afternoon. And again, tonight, but really it has to be like almost an internal wipe to even see it. It's not obvious, like, just your normal wiping. TMI, sorry. You were warned. Y'all know how I do by now. And, um... See, I've had a few tests. I guess if they turn out to be anything, I will line them up. But I really don't see anything on there. I mean, uh, there's Frere, the first response early result, six day sooners. Um, one on nine DPO, one on 10 DPO today, 11 DPO. Is that right? Let me think. I take that back. Nine and 10 DPO were Wally Cheapies. 10 DPO, first response, early results. 11 DPO AM was first response, early results. And I wasn't going to use the third one. However, I managed just to get by the store and get um, some more tests. So I did use a third one tonight, 12 hours after that first one this morning. And I still see like the kind of something catching your eye thing going on. I haven't watched videos in literally like a year. I haven't used Frere in like a year. I mean, honestly, it's been a Walmart cheapy, 88 centers. And, uh, you know, kind of over it at this point. What is this, like cycle 51? <laughs> Seriously, people, it's been a long time. Let's see if I can minimize this side and actually not shut my camera now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ha <laughs> ha, I did. Well, the chart is what it is. It's what it is. It's I don't know. It is what it is. It's uh, got me down for ovulation by fertility friend at uh, CD thirteen, which is the norm. It's been a little crazy though. The last many months, I was like, oh dear, I'm forty four. Uh, Mom always says that she started menopause uh, 43-ish. Can't really go by that with her. She had one kid. So <laughs> I doubt really that she kept much track of that. Um, trying to pull up my chart on this split screen here on the side. I was just looking at it so I should know it very well by now. I went back and looked through some cycles. Um, I can't really like flip it to film my own chart, but if it turns out to be anything, then all of this will be in updating videos, and uh, then you'll be able to see it. But right now, it's been riding around 98 point... looks like 1.5 to 98.2 range the last couple days, four days, and this is 11 DPO today, so... Supposedly the most common day for implant. 
So let's hope that's true and that's what that spotting was because I'll tell you what, if this, which I said I was going to see which cycle it is and I'm slacking out so I ain't even looking at it. <clears throat> oh, wow. Well, well, that wasn't helpful. The way that I've opened up my screen, it's blocking what cycle it is. <laughs> I suck. All right, so it's uh, from Fertility Friend is guessing ovulation day 13. This is cycle day 24, which makes it 11 DPO. It did bounce me back and forth between CD13 initially, which cervix was high and open. I don't even check texture anymore. CM doesn't ever seem to get past a mix of watery and very thin creamy, so it is what it is. And honestly, nothing lined up at all relationship wise or anything of that sort it was kind of trying to start one that was lagging another one was like who the what the hell is going on and um well very unexpected things took place <laughs> on short notice we'll put it at that <laughs> and if and when i need to explain more than i will but as of right now it's not important because uh, no one will see this video unless I end up with a BFP. So, technically, uh, I'm due to start in two days. Uh, two cycles ago, I had something really weird where seven days early, bam, the witch on the doorstep full out. And I was like, what the? I mean, it was so weird. It was like right after AF got just, you know, that 7 DPO thing where you're thinking about getting your early test set up and being ready, and bam, I got a little bit of spotting, I was like, oh cool, 7, 8, you know, days DPO, that pink tinge, same CM that I'm talking about now, and yeah, that bitch, that was really weird, I've never had that happen, so this is actually cycle 51, people, as of the 50 one months in a row I've had two which were actually January and February Valentine's freaking day nearly of this year those are the only two cycles that I have not been actively TTC in a relationship married and or had the donor on hot standby and, and made it happen so, yeah, cycle 51, it would be really nice <laughs> and greatly appreciated if it would come on home seeing that this was like Jupiter, Mars aligned with Pluto, the moon and the stars that literally a conversation just led into availability lining up to the point that it was like everyone had other plans, well, me and the other person. And it just worked out, kind of like it was really meant to be. And I can tell you that that person, the schedule is very hectic. My schedule has been really hectic lately, so it's... I haven't even spoken to this person in, like, forever. So, it really, really was... Um, I'm not even using these earbuds. I just have them in at the moment, so... <laughs> I'm in a totally weird mood so anyway um just figured i would film this i don't even know how many minutes i am in at the moment i need to look at my screen there we go oh god look at that hair girl like a crazy anyway uh eight and a half minutes in at this point so basically that's where i'm at on the cycle turns out to anything i'll update clearly all kinds of pics of the tests progression all the good stuff you know how we do and i am the mad scientist but right now i'm like I have had a killer headache, which I get them sometimes from my neck. I have a couple bulging discs from a car accident, but I mean, it just like nine o'clock, I went in the bathroom at 8.30 and nine and did that clear blue rapid results and a flare six day sooner. Um, and again, I keep seeing little eye catching things, but I'm just, ah, they're not anything that I can tweak and stare and use the glasses, no glasses, use the light, don't use the light, it's not making a difference. But I tell you what, I am somebody who has had three children of my own. I've had a couple chemicals over the time of TTC that I know of, that I am pretty sure about, from tests starting and then fading away on lines. I have been a surrogate with twin girls, which they 
beat the HCG levels. My betas were off the flipping charts. We thought we had triplets and they ended up being the twins. Um, and two girls, sorry, twins. And I will tell you what, never in my life, and I have been pregnant at 17, 24, and little boy blue is like 37, okay? Teens, 20s, 30s, never has this chick right here. And I was 30, five or six when I did the twin surrogate pregnancy through IVF with tons of extra hormones, injections in my butt, progesterone pills, taking estrogen, progesterone, stuck, I had to stick myself, take the injections every day. I had to take estrogen pills. It was like tons of hormones. Never one moment ever of moments. Mom has to Normally she goes to her room at this time. I know she's still there. I can see her through my door, but uh, she's probably going to see this. But, um, yeah, I don't know what it was. I literally, like I told you people, I have made this lovely plate of food that has now sat here and got cold. I don't even want to smell it. Your girl, straight up, I have a pounding headache. I'm like, cool, whatever. I'll throw some ibuprofen down. But um, I've been taking my vitamins, extra folic acid. I've been taking my iron. been taking my aspirin, baby aspirin, since after ovulation. So CD 13, 14-ish. Doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not doing any soy, not doing any black cohosh, not doing any... Wow, that's bad when you can't think of the name of medications. Whatever, supplements and all that. I'm not doing anything. Like I said, this was not at all a planned thing because it was a weird time. Like, dating, trying to date. Maybe I'm going to date. No, I'm not going to date. Screw it. It's not working. I'm going to go up and what up. Yeah. Well, You're going to have to leave before that because I need to be at the church at, eight, at 9 o'clock. I need to be there at 9 Hang on. I'm so not in the mood right now. I have bitch switch on for real. She keeps asking me the same question over and over and over. And then she goes, oh, my TV's too loud. I'm going to turn the freaking TV out. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, I just figured I would make this video. I mean, clearly it's 51 flipping cycles with only two that were genuinely nothing attempted. I have given 500% in effort in supplements and even getting um, medication offshore, you know, um, Clomid people, <laughs> I mean, check back, I got videos somewhere back there. It's been a long road and frankly, it's kind of like the road has stopped being paved and is turning into like gravel that's now going into like dirt and I don't even know that the road continues anymore <laughs> as far as fertility. So I'm hoping and that's all I can do. Stay positive and hope and try. I still get a cycle regularly, still ovulating at the same time. I am temping so I can see it on my chart. Things have been a little squirrely the last several months, but I have a lot of stressful stuff and weird stuff going on. But again, fairly regular considering. So now that I'm 13 minutes into this flipping video, I will stop bending your ear, but yeah. The reason I decided after watching many people talking about their two-week wait symptoms, TWW, I haven't watched videos in well over a year and a half online. I just don't want to watch it because it's very depressing when you're not on the good end of it, you know, so. Um, and 51 cycles deep. For real. So, yeah. Over the four-year mark, well over, but, um. Yeah, that kind of weirdness threw me about the food and the nausea thing because I've never ever had nausea ever ever not even a minute a day never even at the surrogate twins my doctor thought i was going to be so sick just on the meds the stem meds and stuff then when i was pregnant oh you're gonna be so sick i waited for it i never had it thank you knock on whatever wood i have here and if it is meant to be and it works out this time, I don't mind being sick as a dog every day. I will carry a flipping bucket around with me and smile between puking <laughs> because that's how long I have been waiting for this. So, yes, I will be back and update you all when I know something. You'll know something. And, uh, yeah, I just thought the killer headache, like I said, they come and go. But 
the all out I'm cooking and as soon as I thought about putting mayonnaise on this plate with my chicken, which I usually have chicken nuggets and dip different sauces. As soon as I thought about mayonnaise, I was just like, mm, mm, mm. oh, Carlos, no. Yeah, that wasn't good. So that was very odd. Anyway, I'm going to go back to watching women actually test and progression videos and try to keep a positive mindset on this situation. So, another phase of the liking subscribe craziness because. I've been on the TTC path, people. I never got off. I just saw the light dwindling in the tunnel there. So.